X Post Factor Research. You will learn what is X Post Factor Research, its characteristics, procedure, pros and cons. What is X Post Factor Research? X Post Factor Research is also known as Retrospective Research. It is a type of study in which the researcher seeks to understand the potential causes of a previously observed outcome. For example, if a young individual has engaged in delinquent behavior, the researcher would investigate various factors and events that might have contributed to this delinquent behavior. These factors could include aspects like the lack of discipline in school, family history, peer influence, neighborhood environment or socialization. However, ex post facto research has its limitation. The groups involved might exhibit unforeseen differences. In ex post facto research, understanding causality and eliminating potential biases can be challenging due to the absence of randomization and other control measures commonly used in experimental research. Characteristics of ex post facto research Inclusion of a control or comparison group Ex post facto research involves the use of a control or comparison group. This group is important for making comparisons with the actual experimental group to understand the reasons behind an event or outcome that has already occurred. Lack of control or modification of variables the behavior, activities, events, treatments or independent variables under study cannot be controlled or modified by the researcher. Ex post vector research aims to analyze causes based on past actions and these actions cannot be altered. Focus on the outcome the primary focus of ex post factor research is on the outcome or phenomenon that has already occurred. Researchers might examine the phenomenon or event itself before searching into the reasons behind it. Investigation of how and what ex post factor research seeks to understand the causal implication of an event or phenomenon. It emphasizes the how and what aspects aiming to uncover the reason for the occurrence. Examination of Potential Effects and Causes Researchers in ex post facto research investigate cause and effect relationship related to an event, action or behavior to gain insights into the underlying factors. Procedures for ex post facto research Define the problem. The first step is to clearly define the research problem or the specific effect that you intend to study. Examine the relevant literature. Review existing literature and research related to the problem to gain insights and background information. Formulate hypotheses. Develop hypotheses or educated guesses about possible solutions or factors that might have contributed to the observed effect. List assumptions. Identify and document the underlying assumptions that serve as the foundation for the hypothesis and the research procedure. Data collection techniques. Select appropriate data collection techniques such as questionnaires, interviews, literature search, surveys or experiments to gather relevant information. Participant Selection Choose two groups of participants who differ concerning the phenomena, behavior, event or situation being studied. These groups are important for making comparisons. Establish Categories Create categories to classify the collected data. These categories should align with the research objectives and should be capable of revealing significant relationship or similarities. Data Analysis Analyze, describe and interpret the findings from the collected data. 
evaluate whether the hypotheses developed in step 3 are accepted or rejected based on the research results. Now let's learn about the pros of ex post facto research. Relevance for unmanipulated variables. Ex post facto research is particularly relevant for studying behavioral and social phenomena where variables cannot be manipulated intentionally. Analysis of cause and effect. It is valuable for analyzing the causes of effects, providing an advantage over experimental research which often focuses on the manipulation of variables. Time and cost efficiency. This research design is generally less time consuming and cost effective compared to other research methodologies. Researcher subjectivity. Ex post facto research allows the researcher's insights and opinions to play an important role in the research process. Let's now learn about the cons of ex post facto research. Lack of random assignment. Researchers cannot randomly assign research subjects to different groups, which limits their control over variables. Inability to manipulate variables. Since the variables cannot be manipulated, researchers must work with existing data or conditions. Lack of random group assignment. Participants cannot be randomly assigned to different groups affecting the researcher's internal validity. Unclear causation. Ex post facto research may not establish a clear cause and effect relationship between independent and dependent variables, potentially lacking a feasible explanation for this relationship. Thank you for watching this video.